doing new for the channel. We're just gonna look at some basics in R, which is a free uh, statistical software. I can put the links for the the downloads if you want if you're interested in using it and no charge and it is very useful but today we're just going to cover some very simple stuff um, so first of all to assign the values to variables so say we want to have a variable called x and we want to give it a value we have to do the arrow pointing towards x followed by a little hyphen and then we put our value in so I'm going to use 3 and that's my value for x now. I'm now going to take a value for y, do the same thing, and I'm going to put that as 5. We can check that these are actually in the console if we put ls for list, and then followed by this bracket here. It's just going to list all the variable names. It won't tell you what's in the variable, so I'm expecting this to come out as x and y. You see, so that's telling us we have a variable called x and a variable called y in saved in the console all right we can use r to do basically as a as a calculator and that's what we're going to go through in this video so if we do x plus y well x is 3 y is 5 so we're expecting 8 to come out and r does that um, we can do x multiplied by y 15 x divided by y comes up as 0.6 and uh, which operation have I missed? Yeah, x subtracted from y uh, x minus y yeah, gives us minus 2 uh, we can also assign these sums to variables so we could assign a, a new variable z is equal to x times y And now when we look at z and to look at a variable we can just type it in, just print it. So z has the value of 16. Now also if we use the list function, we now have variables x, y and z, which is handy. Um, yeah, if you want to remove a, a variable from from the save list, you can do rm for remove and then in the brackets put what you want to remove. So I'm going to remove z. And now if I try to do x times z, error, z, z's not found, so if we list the variables, you can see we've just got x and y, so that rm command removes our variable z from the memory. That's, uh, that's all we're going to look at in this video, some of the absolute basics. Uh, in the future ones, we'll, we'll look at applying some graphs, how we can actually do some data analysis in our... Um, what some of the, the nice features and functions we can use look at using vectors and matrices within R and the final thing is if you want to clear the console you can press control L and that just wipes everything um, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more uh, mathematical computing in, in R then please let me know below uh, please support the channel by liking and subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video.